For weeks, Chinese Coast Guard vessels have deployed water cannons on Philippine boats, executing dangerous maneuvers and causing collisions. This latest flare-up in the South China Sea between Beijing and Manila will be a key focus in Washington on April 11th in a summit between President Joe Biden and leaders of two key Asian allies, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. There's an awful lot to discuss. Certainly the tensions in the South China Sea are not going away. That was an issue that was raised in the president's call with President Xi just a, a couple of days ago. The White House summit is expected to launch a series of initiatives, including bolstering trilateral maritime cooperation in the South China Sea. Joint patrols is something that we've already discussed extensively with uh, Japan and the United States. And I think that uh, we're hoping that uh, this will come into fruition very soon. The administration will not confirm plans for trilateral joint naval patrols, but a robust defense partnership between the two American allies to deal with Beijing's aggression in the South China Sea is something Biden is pushing for. It's a key element of his so-called minilateral strategy to amplify U.S. alliances in Asia, similar to last year's summit with Japan and South Korea to deal with the threat from North Korea. There is tremendous expectations for Japan. Japan has been a source of stability um, um, and at the heart of many of these relationships as well. It is part of the Quad. Um, it is obviously um, part of the U.S.-Japan alliance, which is at the heart of regional security. The South China Sea is a vital passageway for Japan's global supply chains, so keeping the peace there is key for Tokyo. You are sailing within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. And as the Philippines is a defense treaty ally, skirmishes between Manila and Beijing in the Spratly Islands are a problem for Washington. While we're all focused on Taiwan for obvious reasons, conflict between the U.S. and China remains more likely in the South China Sea. Uh, the ceiling on that might be lower. We're not going to escalate into a general war over the South China Sea, but a lower-level military conflict is uncomfortably possible. The summit is designed to draw Japan into a more robust military role in the region. Tokyo and Manila are already in talks for a reciprocal access agreement that would enhance shared military operations and training. Trilateral aside, Biden will meet separately with Kishida as well as with Marcos, both of whom he met last year. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News, Washington.